All right, um, this is my circuit bent speak and spell. Um, I try to make it a little bit different than some of the speak and spells that I've seen that have been bent uh, in a couple different ways. Um, one, I, I you know I designed it so that it could be played upside down, um, so that way you know the controls are kind of all in this arena here. There you go. First, I'm going to go over all the different things it can do, uh, you know, uh, 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 modification-wise, and then um, and then I'll play it, and uh, so you can kind of get an idea of the different sounds that it has. Um, I'll start on this side. Um, you have uh, here's a loop uh, switch, uh, which is um, basically the the tone that starts playing when you turn it on. Um, it will uh, loop that. So if you hit that, okay. So there's that. Um, and then uh, this put this switch here. Uh, then I put these switches over here this far because these are more like um, switches that you would be. You wouldn't necessarily have to m modify too much while you're actually hitting the keys. So they put these ones kind of like in the least convenient place because it doesn't really matter. But this one is a push button. Uh, glitch, which doesn't work really good with the loops. Uh, only works when you're actually like hitting the keys with the board. So if I, you know, if you if I hit this, you know, B, you, know, B, uh, you hit the, you know, the push button glitch, then you're, you know, or so you get any number, any number of effects that way. Um, and uh, both of these glitches are pretty, or these uh, mods are are pretty. Uh, um, they don't necessarily crash the the uh, unit too often. Um, and by the way, if you do crash it, there's a, uh, a reset switch here. Um, obviously, um, it's typical. Uh, these are logic glitch contacts on this side, and I've labeled everything here. Um, you have to part my handwriting if you do. You can see, even see it, but it's a little haphazard. But it, you can it's legible. Um, this one, these here, these are like uh, this is like a main here. And then you can make the contacts uh, between this one and these two. Um, again, so I, I kind of did it so that you could kind of play it with these three fingers. And there's actually three contacts on this side too, which were operating in the same manner. Um, but these are, um, have to do with pitch or tone. So these here are, um, I'll give you an idea what this sounds like. Uh, I'll put the loop in so I don't have to press any buttons. And then. Um, And these are pretty stable too, they're not going to necessarily crash the machine. See, just like that. And they, they, they're they not going to crash the machine, they're pretty user friendly. Um, and you can use them in combination with like a lot of the other effects that are going on here as well. Uh, without, and there could be some slight crashing, but it, you know, it's just, it's kind of trial and error, really. Um, so that's what those do. Um, moving on this way, we'll keep on the side of the machine. This is a hold switch, um, and I, I call it that because it kind of like it kind of like creates like a sustain effect, um, which is uh, kind of sounds like this. So here's A. So there's H. Um, so if we uh, turn on the hold switch, it's more like. Yeah, so it kind of does that kind of you know, like a crazy, really long. Which is kind of neat, um, and you can, and that's pretty stable too. You can kind of switch back and forth between that. This one here, and I put these ones here because these are kind of like ones you'd be screwing around with more um, on the fly. But this one here is a, a loop, which is basically you just have to press the button um, or or create an effect with any combination of things, and then you can loop it by catching it with a switch. So for I, I may not get it right off the bat here, but. There you go. Saying, see, so and this one's pretty stable too, so that you can kind of turn it on and off without without it crashing too much. Um, but it will sometimes still anyway. It's just part of the how this works. But okay, then uh, just going to the front here, or these these dials here. Um, this one here is a logic. I call it a logic glitch, um, and it's it's a it's a it's a uh, it has a, it has an, a click in it, like an on and off, um, but it also has an on and off here uh, for it as well, because that way you can kind of like set it for a certain level of resistance and then uh, turn it on and off at will. 
Um, so this one is kind of like a, a more of a logic glitch too. So uh, without it, uh, with it, oh, oh, we gotta put a little more in there. You know. Um, um, this one uh, is very unstable. Um, I, I, you know, you can you can play with it by um, you know turning the knob and like kind of like giving it little pings um, or just manipulating the switch back and forth. But this one it has a tendency to kind of like break this thing and then it has to be reset. So I use it kind of sparingly. Um, this is I, I use it more or less with a loop switch. Um, to create some effects and then looping them, um, and then I then you can actually after you've got your loop you can turn it off and then it won't hurt the system and it'll and it'll, the, for some I don't even know why it even works this way but it will remember the loop even after you turn it off. Same thing goes for you know this switch here the the, the push button glitch I I demonstrate. Oh, you know same thing. It's like you could you can set it, get the loop going here and then turn it off you can turn it off and you can get your effect that way you know so you can so it's any combination of things so you, you know once you get your loop going you kinda you wanna turn some of the stuff off um, you know like this one here or this switch here or even this one um, uh, depending on what you're doing and then you'll just keep it going and then that way you have less risk of it cr crashing because you got too many things going on at once um, this one here is a um, uh, just I call it a distortion glitch. Um, there's this is a three-way switch or um, or whatever you want to call it. This has got you know on, off, and then on the other way. And uh, it's on one and on two. And there are two different types of distortion. Uh, one is more lower growly distortion, which isn't quite as sensitive. Um, the higher one, uh, this one down here, the on two is is a much more sensitive distortion, and it has more of like a tinny. Um, uh, sound to it. So this one here, um, I'll demonstrate by just uh, turning on that loop switch again, just so I don't have to hit anything. And then um, we'll do the 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 lower one first. So you can kind of see how that works there, and you can do a lot of it. You know, but you can't really make it out as much. Um, the other one, this one, like I said, is higher. You know, well, <laughs> you can hear that, but this is, you can definitely, you can. See, that one's much more, that one's much more serious. Um, um, that's, that's, that's relatively stable. Um, the lower one's a little bit more stable than the higher one, but, you know, it's, like, you, you know, you can screw around with that. Um.